What's up you guys, it's Madonna. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. So this question I had posed by one of you guys. So thank you for this question. And it's specifically about the COVID vaccine and will it be mandatory? So let's get into the question right now. question asked by one of you so again leave your comments and questions in the comment section below for me and go ahead and subscribe to this channel so that you can know exactly when I put out a new video but this one is from the s word <laughs> this is a pretty interesting name but it says random but do you think that they will be mandating the COVID vaccine as they have the flu shot for PACs or do you think it will depend solely on your specialty so, I mean, I think that this is a great question, first and foremost, so thank you for leaving that question for me. But secondly, I think that it's kind of like a combination of both, right? Because again, you know, this, there are particular specialties where you're dealing with more high risk individuals, right? So like if you're dealing with like geriatrics or like hospice care or peds, or, you know, um, you're dealing with really sick people in the ICU, I think that, yeah, that those people are going to be mandated to get that vaccine because you're dealing with people's lives and very sick people's lives. So it's important that you not only protect yourselves, but you protect them. However, I do feel that it might be mandated for um, all healthcare workers just in general because you're frontline. I do remember seeing an article about this recently, not too long ago, talking about how the, the people that will actually be the first to get the vaccine are those that are kind of the more high risk. So our elderly individuals that are living in nursing homes slash like assisted living places, and then our frontline workers because they are there on the front, like, you know, seeing this virus, dealing with this virus, like on a consistent daily basis. So it seems like that's kind of like the way that things are kind of gonna be kind of shaping up. They're, we're gonna be dealing with individuals who will either be first to get it or maybe first to have it offered to them. I don't know if it's necessarily gonna be mandatory, but I think that in some of those areas where you're dealing with um, patients that actually are extremely high risk um, and will get really, really sick, like deathly so if they do contract this virus, that you're gonna be mandated to get it. So I do think that this was a great question. It was actually something that me and my husband were talking about um, not too long ago. So thank you so much for um, asking the question. I think as the time passes, we're actually going to see a little bit more information about this. You know, as the vaccine becomes available, um, they're gonna tell us exactly who's going to get the vaccine, who's going to be mandated to get the vaccine and who's, who it's going to be available to, um, you know, first, cause obviously they want it available to the general public, but who will it be available to first? So let's watch and wait. That's all we can do. Okay, so we see that it says here, how are states prioritizing who will get the COVID-19 vaccine first? And so this is information that came out after I originally made my video, so I wanted to give that to you all. So it says that the CDC gave guidelines on who would be a priority, and that is those in the highest priority would be phase 1A. So that is to include healthcare workers and those that are residents of long-term care facilities. So my job has actually started offering the vaccine, but it is not mandatory. So you can choose whether or not you want to get the vaccine or not because it is new. Um, those that are in phase two or phase 1B, like the second highest priority group, are individuals who are 65 years of age or older and those with pre-existing conditions that would place them at high risk for severe illness if they were to contract the COVID-19 virus. And so that is the next priority group. And again, nothing has been made mandatory yet, but you know, they're they're promoting you to get this virus, this vaccine. Um, the next group is those in the 1C uh, phase, and those will be the individuals that are in the largest group. And so it's a little bit more difficult to prioritize them, but again, not mandatory, just offering. If you have any other questions for me, please leave them in the comment section below. You already know what to do. Go ahead and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at Adama PA, and I will talk to you guys next time.